so the soap and clay kid lets actually have their like characters on my island and you know that's cool i love being able to do this with them and play the game with them together and we come up with cool designs and think about well we're gonna put a pool here what else should be around this pool should we try to craft you know some beachy themed things or maybe we put a clothing rack or maybe it's some chairs it's been delightful they help decide what villagers get to live there and where the houses go and they're great at getting all of the materials and stuff so they can you know continue to build their characters and build the island and all the things and that's awesome but for those of you who don't play animal crossing you may not know this but there is a little dog in animal crossing named isabel and she rates the island and so I'm the type of person who likes to know what the rating is. And so I go to her at least once a day. I just went to her today to see what the rating was for the island. And I had dropped a star in this rating. And then she tells me that the reason why the star is being dropped is because the other villagers and visitors have noticed that there's just a lot of stuff just dropped on, you know, the ground. And maybe I could work on cleaning that up and gave me some helpful ways to maybe clean that up, you know, in the process. But I'm thinking, what are you talking about? There's nothing on the ground because I had just gone straight from my house to the thing to talk to her. That was part of my morning routine. And so I leave and I go walking around the island and the kids have dropped everything it's like they just clear out their inventory in the middle of the grass and so there's old boots that they caught while fishing there's random shells in a place where shells aren't supposed to be there's items like the little leaves that turn into actual items decorations that they, di they didn't set up proper like they just dropped it from their inventory iron wood shovels they're just throwing all of their shit around my beautiful island they're treating my island like they treat my house and I'm like now not wanting them to be on my island and I'm trying to figure out a way to boot them and I don't know how to boot them so if you do let me know because uh they need a time out from my island we're doing an Animal Crossing soap today, and that was my Animal Crossing story. I will tell you all about the soap that we're making and the villager that we're making and the scent that we're using in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You're at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 114 of 365 days of soap, and today we are making Jay. Now, Jay is a bird. I'm going to go with a blue Jay because he's blue. I think this is all making sense. And he's adorable. He's like a sporty type, and He's a lot of fun to hang out with. He always calls you like brosephine and it's, it's delightful for sure. And for the pour itself, we're going back to the columns and we are going to be putting in beds for his red and the white and his eyes and the, all the things. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that they stay exactly where they're supposed to and don't wander. 
because so many of the embeds within columns have wandered like halfway through the, still can't figure that out. It's wild to me, but we are still working with Midwest fragrance company for the scent blend. And for me, I don't know what it is, but we're going to go to the video and we're going to find out and then, you know, talk about it and do all the things like we normally do in the video. Hey, it's Jay's day. I love this guy. I'm super excited. So there's Jay. There's the mock-up that I made for Jay. And so we need to select the colors, which I'm loving this color board. I know I've talked about it before, but I think I'm gonna do this forever. So twilight for the blue, that totally makes sense. And how about some spicy tomato and watermelon crush mixed together for the red? Uh, that's kind of what I did for cherry-ish, but not exactly. And then taxi cab for the yellow portions, for sure. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I am loving this board so much. I think I'm going to do it for all of my videos from now on. My only issue right now is just how crooked my counter is. So the camera is crooked. That's going to irritate me throughout the whole thing now. And now that I've told you, you're not going to be able to unsee it. So I apologize. Now, I used that taxi cab in a melt and pour base to create Jay's beak. And so I just made a circle and now I'm just going to carve it into a beak looking thing just using a clay tool, a clay sculpting tool, which I have tons, you know, just lying around for this specific purpose. And yeah, kind of easy as that. Not a lot to this. And then for the eyeballs, just the same process that we've been doing, right? Now, with this, we are going to go back to the pouring into the column and using a whole bunch of embeds in the column. We haven't been having a lot of success with column pours. I mean, I guess cherry was fine, right? But we had some weird wandering going on with embeds that just do not make sense at all to me. Now we are using bamboo teak wood from Midwest Fragrance Company for all of this because trees and birds live in trees and you know, all the things. And also I'm always a sucker for bamboo teak wood. Whenever I see it in anybody's line, I'm like, yeah, no, I want that. I want that. I want it in fragrance form. I want it in soap form. I want it in lotion form. I want it in candle form. I love bamboo teak wood. And this one is delightful. And as I've said before, throughout all of this, it's very potent. They are all so strong. That is one thing that I did notice throughout this entire thing with a uh, Midwest fragrance company is that the entire shop would smell like whatever Midwest fragrance I had just used for the rest of the day. It overpowered everything else. Got an emulsion check. All right, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. And so for that reason, I was very, very impressed because that's a hard thing to do for one particular smell to overpower everything else in the soap shop where there are over 300 types of soaps and at least 200 types of bath bombs. It, that's a lot. And a lot of things are being made throughout the day that all have like conflicting scents. And so at the end, the soap shop just kind of smells like, you know, soap. Like, oh, this smells nice, but there's no one particular scent. But with the Midwest fragrance stuff, I was able to smell that and retain that smell for the entire day. So potent is the point of that. This guy, not dark enough. So we're gonna put some more. Now that looks like I just dumped a whole bunch, but I, I didn't, that's very, whatever. I don't ever use the actual recommended ratios for micas. I always, always undershoot them. And you know, for themes like this that I super duper care about and I really want the colors to be right or whatever, I'll go ahead and bite the bullet and put in the actual recommended usage. But because I know that I never use the right amount of micas and I'm always undershooting it, I don't ever blame the mica itself or the company itself when it's all said and done 
unless I have went ahead and put in the amount that you're supposed to use and then it still does weird things. So like with this one, I really did want to make sure that it got darker. So I put in a little bit of activated charcoal as well to help really deepen that blue. And you know, we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. But the bamboo teak wood is going to go into all of this because all the embeds were scented separately and they will be, you know, put in, you know, now. And let's keep our fingers crossed that we don't have any real weird wanderings going on with this guy because he actually has like five, I think five embeds. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's go, let's go check this out. Okay, now on to the pour of this. And, you know, half of the, pro of the well, more than half, I'd say 75% of this particular soap lies within the prep work. And because making the embeds and letting them dry and then cutting them down, now that was actually a different thing. So you know those silicone molds, those column, those little mini column silicone molds from Brambleberry and how they separate in the middle? I just propped one up one half of it up on the counter and you know put it against another mold and just poured into it just the half and let it dry for both of those pieces and then so easy peasy lemon squeezy for because having to cut them in half it totally works too but it actually makes it harder because cutting a straight line down the it, it can be problematic so that's what I did for those half circles. I just used half of the mini column silicone molds from Brambleberry or wherever you get your mini silicone column mold thingies, really. Now, I only filled this, oh, about two thirds of the way full just to make sure that the embeds didn't displace so much soap batter that it would go over the top as I started putting them in but it looks like I still needed to put in more anyway. So that's what I'm doing now. And there it is. It's completely easy enough to do, but everything's nice and secure. I think the batter's at a good consistency to, to do this thing. And hopefully all of those embeds will stay exactly where they're supposed to, because you know, so far so good. They're all where they're supposed to be right now, aren't they? But I'm still I'm still big freaking out about the cocoa one. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over that. How did those three circles, those three rather big circles, change so much as we went down the bar from there where they're supposed to be at the top to a big old mess, like halfway through the I don't know. Yeah. And on to the cut of this guy, and it is so smooth and shiny and bluey and, you know, wet. But the reason why it's wet is because I put it into the freezer to freeze it to get it out of the PVC pipe. So if you ever wondered how that happens, that's how that happens. Yes. Now, I don't trust this because of the number of embeds in there. I don't trust this soap in my wire cutter. So I'm not going to take it to my wire cutter and w risk breaking it because Mr. Soap and Clay has told me that if I break my wire cutter, my, my cutter again, he's not going to fix it for the rest of the year. And I don't know if that means calendar year or like the rest of the channel content year, but either way, that's a long time because we're talking about like the difference between three months or six months shit longer than six months, right? Like we're at day 114. Oh, this is wild. We're like only at day 114, but it feels like, granted, we started the channel like in May or year two in like May, I think. And the reason that we did that was for, well, reasons that don't matter anymore, but it was for somebody's birthday. And their ability to come and hang out the pontoon for the end of year recap. And again, that doesn't matter anymore, but yeah, it's, so it's, I mean, it's not that big of a deal that we're only at day 114, but also this year in general, like this calendar year has been super, super duper long, right? So much has happened. Oh yeah, no soap, cute, look cute, but also those ones shifted. 
that's adorable that still totally works because it could be that you're seeing the bird from a different angle and not a dead on angle right and so therefore his little beak is going to be kind of somewhere else and that's that's totally fine now these five bars here are the bottom of the soap and that one's actually adorable <laughs> and the beak is in the right place there and so that one's sort of in the middle of the soap right what's yep that's so it looks like the top like eight bars, all of the embeds are where they're supposed to be, which is good, obviously. We want them to be where they're supposed to be, but that's cute. That is just adorable. That is a perfect J. Well done me. And the scent is great. The teak bamboo, it's delightful. It's very sweet, but also tree-y, and I love that for sure. It's great unisex scent, very clean. Very strong. I know I've said it before, but I am impressed with Midwest Fragrance Company. Like across the board, this has all been really, really good. And these guys, no real problems with this, right? The, the, we didn't have any issues with the, the scent doing anything weird. The pour was great. The colors are awesome. Jay is cute. And I know I say that about all of my soaps, but you know, they are all cute. And they're cute because I made them and I had fun with them. And it's awesome. And so for that reason, of course they're all cute. But yeah, that is a day 114, Jay from Animal Crossing. And he's adorable. Yeah, all things considered with that, that was such a cute bar. It worked out. It totally worked out. And it's adorable. The scent was great. I'm seriously in love with Midwest. This is, where have you been all of my life? I mean, they're new. And so, that's where they've been not a business but they're a business now and i'm in love with them i'm definitely going to be buying a lot from them in the future for sure and uh you can buy something from them you know now or in the future but you can use coupon code soap and clay 10 soap ampersand clay y10 it's down it's down there so you can get a discount on your next order, which would be amazing. If you're interested in ordering Jay or any of the other Animal Crossing soaps, you can't do so. You can't do so yet. We're not done. We're getting closer, but we're not there yet. But they will be available at soapandclay.com, you know, when we're done. So that's something to look forward to. If you're interested in seeing, you know, what else we do for all the things, you know the drill. Subscribe or don't. Just happy that you're here. That's awesome too. But for those of you who are subscribed, you are my sudsers, and I am happier that you are here, and you are awesomer than the other people who can't click a button. So, thank you for having done so. I am out of here for today. It sounds like I need to go fix my island and fiddle with some settings to keep the kidlets not there for a while. So, I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of soapy fun. Bye!